Hello and welcome to Super Core Expo 2016. I'm here with Larry Montague of Tappy. Larry, how's the show going? Bill, it's going outstanding. We actually broke over 5,000 registrants today, and we think that moving to Atlanta, Orlando was a big part of that because we attracted over 1,000 international visitors. Oh, that's a lot excellent. From Latin America, Mexico, all over the place. But they like coming here. And this is going to be the home of uh, Supercore Expo for 2022 that we're excited about. Well, that's excellent. And you actually see it and you feel it on this show floor. This is a global event. It certainly is. And we have uh, over 25,000 more square feet of exhibition space than we had four years ago. So, mm -hmm. and a lot more international exhibitors and, and uh, registrants. So, we're very excited. There's a lot going on on the show floor. There's so many different topics that people are talking about. The whole digital printing side of it exactly. there. The ability for a lot of these machines to improve productivity. Mm -hmm. What do you see as some of the top innovations? Well, the big, biggest thing I saw out there was speed. And I'm not going to get specific on which machines and you know, which manufacturers, but everything is faster, quicker, cleaner than it used to be, mm -hmm. less scrap involved. And that all re relates to a better productivity and less cost mm -hmm. and cost savings you know, for the customers out there. But that uh, digital printing is unbelievable, the things that, that's on this flow. Uh, well, it's personalization yeah. of it the product. Is, absolutely. And you can do short runs without the huge ramp-up time. Absolutely. That's that's the whole key. Quickness, quick turnaround, and as you said, custom or specific uh, products. It's uh, it's amazing. You've had an excellent keynote lineup, and uh, you Thank guys you. covered so many different areas there. Any one, two topics stand out? Well, it, it was fun to hear the owner, <laughs> you know, the craft Jonathan Kraft with uh, actually have an owner of an NFL team, the Patriots, and how that related to the box box business. Now yeah. he talked about customer service that they learned from the box business. He was able to take over to the football NFL football team, and they were actually doing very poorly when they bought the team. And mm -hmm. they put in the customer satisfaction and, and more emphasis on the customers, and they turned the thing around. Very profitable team now. So I thought that was pretty pretty neat. That's a very interesting uh, comparison there. Right. Yeah. And then hearing about how uh, the millennials are affecting the grocery purchases and, yep. and everything like that was uh, was amazing. And how manufacturers of boxes are going to have to change their thoughts and, and shelf-ready products yep. to the grocery stores because as the hourly rate goes up, the grocers are going to have to get more things out in a shorter period of time. Yeah, and we heard that you know glass use, metal use are down, but the corrugated side of it did not go away at all. Absolutely, and it's it's really a green product, and people see that, and it's easy to use, and it's customizable so much more than the other products out there. So yeah. we're feeling really strong about this. So trends in the future, what's coming up? What do you think you're going to see by 2020 when we're here? You're going to see boxes that talk to you when you walk down the grocery store aisles. You're going to see because of nano cellulose technology that we have right now that comes from a tree. You're going to see clear boxes. You're going to see boxes that you can see all the way through. I know they have, this won't be from uh, any cellophane or any plastic product. This is going to come from the nano cellulose itself, which is going to be a big turnaround. I think you'll see that by 2020. And with the high degree of recycling that's been going on and uh, you know reuse of the, uh, the corrugated, that's really going to help that market. It certainly will. And uh, we, we really have the strongest recyclable product there is out there today as far as uh, retention levels, being able to pick it back up and reclaim it. OC, our corrugated boxes in the United States is really up over 90% right now. Nobody else can get close to that with these other products. In terms of membership, things are looking solid too. Things are looking very solid. We, uh, we, we've had a strong growth in our young professionals. We have a 97% increase from this time last year of our young professionals signing up. So that's 30 and under. And that with the uh, emerging uh, leaders with mm -hmm. AICC, we're actually having a joint uh, conference, not a conference, but a uh, get together this evening that they're going to be talking back and forth. And the more we can do that and bring up those new folks into this industry, the better we're going to be. Well, we've talked to quite a few of them, and to them it's oh. the ability to network and know who else is out there to talk to, call on, instead of waiting four years. That's outstanding. It really is. And we've got the, the connect, it's what they call it now, with Tappy, and that's exactly what it's for. When they advertise it, it shows different parts of the country, the entire world, mm -hmm. that uh, these co these kids can, they go to, they'll have a They'll have comrades, if you will. And Which uh, is a great way to do it. And absolutely. that's what the millennials and that's what the, the newest generation are going to be looking for. You're exactly right. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us here today, Larry. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Appreciate it.